Hey everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with Let's Play Ender IO. Alright, so today I want to do something a little bit different. Uh, Ender IO has updated to 5.0.24, and I have included that in the 1.3 release of Absolute Ender. And now I went ahead and updated the pack uh, because I wanted to show you the new stuff and I wanted to play with it, right? So that's kind of the plan. Let's go check out some of the changes and see if we can use them around the base. Plus, I have some uh, upgrades I want to make anyways. All right, so first one, let's go downstairs. Uh, let's see, right over here. So zombie generators and what's this stuff? Nutrient distillation. So after I updated and logged into the pack, these things didn't work because they now take capacitors. So I went and threw a basic capacitor into everybody and it got it back to, uh, excuse me, pigs, excuse me. Why don't you all just chill out? No, not that one. This one. All right, we'll chill out the spawner here for a minute. Uh, so it put it back to its standard configuration at 80. So I've got six of these guys, so let's do this. Let's get some more capacitors. Yeah, I got a bunch right there. Uh, let's get about a dozen of these guys if I can. And I can. And let's just go ahead and move them up to Octatic. Uh, and you know what? Just for curiosity's sake, let me get one double layer here. And let's see what that does. All right, so double layer. You can go in there and you are still... 80 micro infinity a tick, right? Well, that's weird. All right, swap you out and, huh. Okay, let's go up to Octatic. Octatic, what do you do? Nothing, oh, wait, wait, wait. Is this different 12, right? 12, how about like this? 12, mm, maybe I didn't do something right. I don't know, there's still all uh 80 at this point and maybe that's a future release to come i'm not sure honestly i was expecting them to do different things uh, let's try another one how about you all right and you no same values all right one more thought okay one more thought hold on i just want to be sure let's take it out and put it back just to be sure yep basic capacitor all right octatic nothing changes all right well whatever I thought that was going to be a thing. All right, well, so they just take capacitors now. Okay, maybe future upgrades will bring more power. I was hoping to really ramp those guys up. All right, this thing right here, so I've got rotten flesh and mushrooms, and I went with mushrooms because they were 1.5, and looking at the recipe, that was about the best I could do without making spider eyes, but that's because this wasn't there. Nether wart. So nether wart's been added back in. Let's just go ahead and set this dude to use nether wart. And the reason I want to do that is nether wart doesn't require anything to grow, right? So to make mushrooms, I've got to give them bone meal. Nether wart, I can just farm. So, all right, in you go. Very cool. All right, so that's kind of this stuff over here, right? So nutrient distillation. And I think I'm going to make, I don't know, one, two, three... Uh, I think I'm going to make about six more. I want to see how many of these one of these can run. I'm just kind of curious. All right, so that's that one. I don't think there's any change over this one. Uh, so let's go this way here and look at the stuff over here. All right, so last time we built the combustion generator, right? And I'm getting 262 out of rocket fuel and water. Now, what I'd like to do here is I'd like to take a look at the new and improved conduits. So let's go and get some new fluid conduits right here. Ender fluid conduits. Uh, I guess it doesn't much matter. We'll go this way. And I'm going to need this combustion generator. And let's upgrade this guy. Right? So uh, let's see. Combustion. So there's this one right here, an enhanced combustion generator. And so that's going to take a couple of pressurized fluid tanks, easy enough, and vibrant bimetal. Do I have any of this? Oh, I'm pretty close. Nope, not that. Vibrant bimetal gear. So I need some infinity gears, which means I'm going to need, right here, 
Nugs. All right. Nugs, 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 nugs. There we go. Throw them all in the system. All right. Let's get a couple of these gears. I always need them. Right? Uh, there's a dozen. There we go. And I'm probably going to build a couple of these. Yeah, I think I should. All right. So let's make... Let's make, like, three. Oh, I was so close. I was so close. Right? Right there. Right here. All right. So there's the part. So the first one, I'm just going to straight upgrade. And then these guys here will just have to build. All right. So there's four more tanks. I think I've got machine chassis. Yeah, I do. Uh, what was I missing? Oh, right there. Gears. All right. So got that. Let's go ahead and throw them up here, maybe, right? I think they're a couple of blocks tall. So they go right there. Yeah, I like how they stick out of my inventory. All right, so if I do that, yeah, so they're they're like a block and a half, maybe. Okay, so throw them up there. Oh, I'm going to need conduits, right? We're going to need some energy conduits. All right, and let's go behind. And let's take a look here. So conduits, oops, not like that, right there. All right, so conduits now have some new features. They've got conduit filters, or just filters, right? And they can take speed upgrades. And let's see, and we've got round robin, we've got self-feed, we've got priority. But yeah, these filters are new, and I don't need one, but I'm going to build one anyways. Uh, I just want to see what it's about. So right here, fluid filter, right? And I understand that I can set filters now by shift right clicking. And so now I don't have to stick them anything. I can set this here. So that'll be pretty handy. I think you can run multiple fluids through one filter and then, or through one conduit and then, you know, filter them out. I kind of like that. All right. So let's do this. Let's take the fluid from this guy and yep let's come up here and let's see i'm gonna want to uh let's see shift left click i'm gonna want to extract from this dude round robin will be fine right and then can i just uh let's see like that insert 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 right i'm always uncomfortable doing it with the wrench yeah that worked that worked just fine so that'll put these guys online all right so you need capacitors Hey, what happened to the capacitor? Right? What happened to that good capacitor? Did I not take it out? Did I lose it? Are you in here somewhere? Mmm. I'll have to look. I think simple storage doesn't always read the uh, capacitors in here correctly. I don't know. Let's just take a look. No, I don't see it. All right. Well, we'll use Octatic. Let's find out what the uh, what the values here are. So... Let's grab capacitors, and again, we'll just kind of explore. All right, so basic tier capacitor. Right there gets me nothing. Oh, because we didn't hook up power. All right, where is the power line? I need to put power into these dudes. I could swear it was right here. Is it? Is it right there? Is it right there? Hold on, let's look from the front. Yeah, there's a power line right there. Okay, very cool. So we can just uh, follow this guy right on up. Right, right there, right here, right there. All right, so that should... Oh, yeah, it's draining down. Who did I put it in? Right here. Oh, we got to give them water, too. Well, can I do that with this conduit? Right, can I do that with multiple fluids? Let's uh, Let's experiment and learn. So you right here are pulling water right is this a good idea is this a bad idea i don't know let's find out right here and can i connect you no i can only disconnect you ah bad stuff is happening hold on a second we got to get over to fluids right what just happened here uh okay i'm gonna have to stop and figure this one out how about i take everybody off how about that how about them apples now I don't remember what was going on. All right, in the vat, we were sticking in stuff. All right, so let me put this one back. Right, and I had it on insert right there with a filter that was filtering for potatoes. Okay, and I also had... I could have sworn I had a fluid conduit, right? Uh, right there. 
right? Because it's got to get water. Oh, it's getting water underneath. Okay. I think that's right. Oh, it was power conduit. That was the other conduit that was there. All right. So it doesn't look like it. I got to look at this a bit more. I could swear that they do multiple fluids, right? Allows multiple fluids to be transported on the same line. Well, then shouldn't you, uh, shouldn't you hook up? What am I on right now? Yeah, that's fluids. Okay, so there's the fluid line down there. Oh, that might be why I should have put one right there. Right? And then let's look at it with the wrench. And, oh, it's because they're different, uh, yeah, they're different classes. That's why. Okay. All right. They're different classes, and you always need to have the same class. Right? So I need to go through and change all the fluid conduits to one type. I'm a little worried that extracting this amount of water is going to drain this thing faster than it can restock itself. Right? Let's just take a look here. All right, so it is filling up. Uh, not like that. It's filling up, and I think... I'm not sure. Is it... Uh, yeah, I think it's failing. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Give me a second. I'm going to change over all these conduits. All right, so got all the fluid conduits changed over, right? And we're really only dealing with water, but we've also got this stuff right here. So, right, I've got water and I've got rocket fuel in everybody. And then coming back here, so it's just this one conduit. Uh, let's get the wrench out. Right, so rocket fuel right there. Everybody going in, and then over here, I've got water. So very cool. They're both going into the same thing. I like that a lot. That works out really nicely, right? So I just moved this one uh, liquid conduit up here. All right, so coming out to the front here, this dude's running with a basic capacitor gets me 240 micro infinity a tick. That's what I was getting with an octatic capacitor on the, uh, I guess it's the normal tier, right? This combustion generator. All right, so double layer. What do you do? You're up to 300, okay? And that's five ticks per millibucket. This was seven. All right, so it's using fuel faster. And to go up to an octatic, uh, only is four. So I'm at 360. Okay, so let's do this then. Let's go ahead and give you and you octatic capacitors, right? And you're going to use two ticks per millibucket of water, and you're all giving me 360. So that's almost... Uh, What's that? A thousand RF? No, a thousand micro infinity a tick from these three generators. And I think, I think this process is going to keep up, but here's my next problem. All right, that's a problem. So let's go ahead and grab a soul vial, right? Let's grab a soul vial and uh, I got to wait for it to be night. Let's make a spawner, right? Uh, so let's get all the pieces here. I'm going to need a broken spawner. And I've got a powered spawner right there. All right, so while we wait for night, let's build another thing that I need. Uh, so new add to the pack, new add to Ender IO is crafters. They're back. And they have a simple tier, and they have a regular tier. So let's grab the simple one. Do I have all this stuff? I totally do. All right, we'll get that. And I'm going to need power, and I'm going to need some export-import kind of stuff here. So let's grab some of these guys. All right, so I just need a hopper and this and some of the storage cable. Uh, let's see, still got a little time until night. All right, so let's go to the basement, which by the way, I cleaned up. I think it looks a lot nicer now, right? Move the cabling, did all of that stuff. So I need a power cable near, let's see, your fluid, your power. I'm just kind of looking for a good spot, because it doesn't really matter where this is. Ah, uh, right there. That's a great spot. Okay, so here's my crafter, and uh, let's see. The thing I want to craft right now, sillily, is melons. So let's do this. Let's get uh, one export, right? And let's export out of the system right here uh, melons. And I'm going to go into this guy, and I'll set my pattern, right? Melon, 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 melon. And that will give me full melons, right? And you should be, yeah, I think this is how this works. 
All right, so do you need a redstone signal or anything? Because I feel like you've got enough melons to craft, right? Like, should you do that? Why does this say melon seeds? I'm not sure what's going on here. Hold on. Let's, uh, let's do this. Let's stop you. You can stop for a second, right? Am I not doing this right? Why do you show me melon seeds? Uh, okay, all right, all right. That's because one was already crafted when I put the first melon in there. So now it's going to craft melons. So it's about every second, and it's using 10 micro infinity a tick. Okay, that totally works. And then over here, I could just import them, right? So melons, are you coming in, right? You are a storage import cable, right? Uh, let's just look. So you're set to a blacklist. You're set to a blacklist. What if I uh, what if I told you to push? Would that help? Yeah, that helps. Okay. All right. So that's the normal tier. All right. Very cool. Normal tier. So let's take this up a notch here and let's go find out. Uh, crafter. Let's go up to this tier because I should be able to upgrade it just like this. So now here's the normal tier. Uh, crafter. All right, so I should be able to stick you right there. And okay, so you take capacitors and you're with a basic still the same power. Okay, very cool. All right, so let's grab our Milan. And am I fast enough? Ooh, I think I'm fast enough. Right, so now you should do some importing of melons. And let's see how this goes. I'll throw a bunch in there. Oh, that's faster already, just at the basic tier. It's actually faster than that cable can uh, put them in there. Very cool. All right, so now we have crafting abilities. So I just want you to craft all the time. And I'll show you what I do with them. Let's see, how do I get out? How about like that? Uh, because over here, over here, I went ahead and set my villagers down. And I think I'm gonna collect villagers. And right here, I've just got a cable and I need melons. Right, so uh, let's get regular tier melons. And I'm going to go ahead and just export my melons right into here. And then, you know, when it's time to trade, I can just come right here and grab that stuff. And we'll line up a bunch of villagers. I kind of want to go villager hunting. All right, so we got that stuff done. Let's, uh, is it still not night? Let's check the time. Oh, we got a little while to go. Okay, very cool. I do have something else I want to do, too. Let's go downstairs. So, in this process right here, I had put in conductive iron grinding balls. And the grinding balls have changed values. Oh, and I did take a couple of them out. Uh, hold on a second. Item hiding mode. Right? Right here. All right. So, you now have grinding balls for all of the Ender I.O. materials. Plus, in the pack, I hid the thermal expansion ones. But there is signalum, there is enderium, and there is lumium. Uh, since we don't have thermal expansion, right, I just hid those in JEI. But the values of these things have changed. So in this process, I didn't care about getting bonus. I just wanted reduced power. Take a look at this one, redstone alloy. So that gets me 35 power. Excuse me, 35%. Right? The conductive iron is now 100% power, but I get a little bonus. So that's not what I'm looking for anymore. Dark steel is 135 and 200. I think that's about the same. Now this I'd like to get. End steel. That gives you a lot of bonus and less power. But for end steel, we're going to have to go to the end. All right? So let's swap out the grinding balls that were in this thing. Right? And I guess I'll throw them in the system. And let's get the redstone alloy ones, these right here, just going to have a uh, lesser power use, right? So uh, 20, right? And then I guess I got to wait for this to clear out because it's still the last grinding ball. All right, so I can chuck that. I think I can throw a lot of this stuff back into the system. Yeah, there's been a lot of fluid conduits uh, stuff. And from what I understand, oh, there's another conduit I want to look at here. Let's grab some redstone conduits. And I don't know if I can see this really well. Uh, let's see. Can I? Oh, we got to turn the wrench. 
Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Can I look at the end of one of these conduits? No. So I would have to hook it to something. Okay, hold on a second. Let's, uh, let's hook it to a machine. Right there. Okay, so now we've got uh, signal colors on conduits, right? So these things have colors, and it's got input and output. Maybe I had colors before. I can't remember. I think it might have, but input and output is new, so you can make directional uh, redstone conduits. Very cool. All right, so let's get this guy off here. Yeah, I like that I'm making more power now, right? Right here, so all I've got to do, and this is keeping up. Yeah, all I've got to do is make one spawner. All right, so let's go get a creeper. I was going to make a witch spawner. It was an excellent comment suggestion. Yeah, it's that time. It was a very excellent comment suggestion to make a witch spawner. Uh, and let's take a look here. Gunpowder. Right, so when I look at gunpowder and the mob drops, no, right here, mob drops, here's a witch, but it's 12% redstone and 12% gunpowder. But it's going to give me tons of bottles and other stuff I don't need. But I still might do this. But a creeper is going to give me 50% gunpowder. And I've got so much redstone. A ghast might be nice. Uh, I was thinking about these right here, the rocket creepers, right? One to two, that's guaranteed gunpowder. I'm going to get a lot of fireworks stars. Uh, this one is disabled. And this guy might not be bad. Boy, that one's not bad at all right there. A festive creeper. All right, let's see what we can find. I'll take a festive creeper or a regular creeper. All right, uh, there we go, a little night vision action. All right, so there's the rocket creeper. I'm not really into him. I don't want all those firework stars. I don't think those help me a lot. All right, come on, creepy bros. You gotta be out here somewhere. I can't see him on the mini-map, but I mean, it's creepers, right? Oh, regular creeper. Regular creeper. All right, let's dive in here and pick this dude up. All right. What's up, bro? Oh, no, no. I got him. Got him. The other guy shot me. All right, so I'm going to start with this, but I might make the other spawner. Uh, let's see. I got 26 levels on me, so you can go in here. There's eight levels. And how are you going to do? Uh, you're going to take a minute. All right. And I still have 25 levels. Very cool. All right, let's go downstairs here and just take a look. I want to make sure everybody's keeping up. I think they are. I think this thing keeps up, uh, and this is octatic. That's octatic. I think everyone's creeping up, but let's go ahead. Uh, why do I have a weird power bar down there? Where did that come from? I must be having a glitch. All right, so let's go ahead and turn on this spawner. Right, because pigmen take uh, 800 micro infinity a tick. And ah, uh, yeah, we're not changing any power whatsoever. Very cool. All right, coming upstairs here. Hello. Thank you. Upstairs. Let's see, you're 61% done. All right, give me just a second. I want this thing to finish. All right, so I think my thing has finished. Yep, right here, broken spawner. All right, let's put you in here with this dude. 16 levels. <coughs> as usual. All right, uh, let's see. Going down right here. And let's add you to the mob farm. Who am I not using? I don't think I'm using this one at the moment. What are you? Enderman. No, I don't need Enderman. All right, let's take this guy off. I think I just lost that one. I think I went downstairs. All right, so let's put this guy on. Oh, capacitors. All right, uh, capacitor. I just need a basic for right now. Right, put you on there, turn you to active with signal. Uh, and that's not bad, 240 micro infinity a tick. Okay, so let's uh, let's come out here and turn you on, right? Uh, and let's see, let's see how fast that spawns. Uh, so it's at a decent pace. And by the way, I put this post back here because sometimes when I'm doing like zombies, they just get stuck right here. I really need to offset this thing by, like, a block in either direction. All right, you dudes are going to make way too much noise. I just want to see the uh, creepers spawn, and then, you know, we'll kill them right up. Oh, but we're going to need a thing. Hold on. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I was just thinking about that. So I need to get a vial. I need to capture one. Oh, I had one on me. 
All right, let's see if we can get in and out. All right, let's go get this dude. Let's get him. Got him. And back out, because I got to put him in here. And now they'll come this way and get murdered by Joe. Right? There we go. What's up, fellas? Give me all your gunpowder. I love it. So now I can power more of these. I might even add four and five. Right? Yeah, because I don't even need to run these at the moment. Nice. This power is taking care of everything. Very cool. So I think I'm going to call it there for today. I just wanted to show you a little bit of the update and, you know, make a little bit of improvement to our power situation. So I'm 47 Mark IV, and I hope you enjoyed the episode. Uh, if you did, hey, <laughs> don't blow me up. Ah! All right. If you did, hey, drop me a like or a comment. I always love seeing those. And then I will see you in the next episode.